Hello, welcome to LEV Toys. Thank you for joining me today. We are hanging out here outside Stephanie's house. Oh, look, here's Stephanie. Hi, Stephanie. It's nice to see you today. Now, Stephanie is heading into the house. And are you all ready? Because something very weird is about to happen. We are heading back into the past. Back when Stephanie was just little. So teeny weeny. She was so cute when she was a little girl. She's only just barely out of toddlerhood. She still loves blue and pink. And her mum obviously loves dressing her up. Now, Stephanie's room in Stephanie's house. Let's bring this down. Here it is. It is all currently equipped for a teenager and Stephanie the toddler is about to move into it but she's bringing some absolute essentials. So she's going to bring oh, her, her, her very favourite blue stuffy and her very favourite, oh hold on she just knocked over, her pink kitty stuffy and are there more stuffies? And her little dog stuffy uh, <laughs> and Right, okay, how many stuffies do you have, little Stephanie? A lot. I'm gonna go with a lot. She's still going. What are we up to? One, two, three, four, five, six stuffies. Are you done yet? Obviously not. Uh, is this the last one, the pony stuffy? Yep, no, hold on, she's checking. No, no, she's done, right. Okay, so, little Stephanie obviously loves her stuffies. They are her very favorite things. She's not really into dolls, so we're going to convert this teenager's room, this teenage Stephanie with teenage Stephanie interests, we're going to change this over and turn it into a toddler Stephanie bedroom with places for all the toddler things that toddler Stephanie would like to have, including all of those stuffies. So we're going to need quite a bit of room here and I don't know how we're going to go for space. Let's take these little pieces with the stickers off because they are teenage room type things. And we'll see if I can get this one out. Come on. And we'll just replace all of these blank spots with some white walls. Uh, okay, so over here, maybe a big window? Maybe it fits the space nicely and this door leads out onto the balcony. Uh, we might have to change that around a bit I think. Right, actually I'm going to do even more changing. I'm going to take this little grey cube out here because I'm not quite sure why the original designers put a grey cube in there but we can put a white one in and now our wall is all spiffy and white and next to it we're going to put another one with a little outward facing stud there so we can hang some pictures on the wall off that and this window that I put in here I haven't entirely decided we're not going to do that we're just going to have a nice big white wall that once again we can hang things from there we go that looks good let's check it out from the front oh hold on <laughs> there we go now this door that heads out into the balcony we are going to entirely remove that for now because a balcony with a toddler bad idea so we're just going to put a blank piece of wall in there and we can change it over as she gets older she can have the door back and this wall over here actually no, i'm going to leave that alone for now and we're going to get started on the inside where's little stephanie she wants to come and watch she might have to sit out here right so a bed for little Stephanie. This is the teenage Stephanie's bed. I'm going to pinch the bedspread off this and I'm going to use it in her new bed. So let's see, we're just going to make it a little one. We might have pink and hold on, lighter pink stripe in the middle. There's her pillow and we're going to need a barrier on the side, a little railing so she doesn't fall out because I actually have a plan to put this bed up a bit high so there's some playing space underneath or actually a little reading nook underneath would be so cute. So let's get the bed organized first and then then we can see how else we can set it all up so that we can maximize the space that we have in the room. So a railing here on the side so she doesn't fall off. I'm going to smooth out all the rest of the area and here look that's so comfy. Where's her teddy? She forgot her teddy stuffy. How could she forget her very favorite one? Oh that's so cute. All right so her bed is good. Let's put Stephanie and her teddy over here. And we're going to put this over here in this corner about this height I think. Yeah, that looks good, but let's get a little reading nook happening underneath it first. So we'll put a nice little lavender mattress, like soft cushioned base on the floor and just tucked all the way back in the corner, we're going to put a bookcase. And this is just the easiest way to put a little bookcase together. Check it out. Nice and simple. Look, all these books. And in the other corner, 
here on top of the blue smooth part we're going to put her fairy tale book which oh has got no actual story inside that we'll have to fix that but it's perfect tucked away her special book and a cushion down here as well this is going to be so cool so let's put some legs on the side for the bed to sit on top of and we'll see whether Let's just put this in just to see whether we're going to be high enough. Let's see if Stephanie can sit under here. She really cannot. So we might need to put another brick in. Let's give that another go. This is actually quite high now. <laughs> Let's see if she can sit in now. That's the perfect height. That's such a cute little reading nook. She looks so cozy down there. All right, let's put some support on the other side for the end of the bed. We're going to put this closer to the back and with some hooks because you can never have enough hooks and hanging space in a toddler's bedroom. In fact, in any bedroom or in any room. And underneath here, we're going to put a little lamp. So she's got, it's not, it gets really dark in those nooks under the beds. And that is the perfect height. Oh, look at that. Teddy looks so cute up there, but Stephanie can't get up. She cannot jump that high. Well, I have a plan for this, Stephanie. That's why that little hook is on the end. We're going to put a ladder on the end of the bed. It all works out so perfectly. There we go. You ready? You ready to climb up to your little bed up the top here with your reading nook underneath. I'm so excited. That's turned out looking so cute. Right. Over here on the wall, we've got some of Stephanie's awards. She is already winning things. She has found the taste for competing. She just loves it. So she's got a number one and a number two ribbon already displayed there on the wall. And on this one, we're going to put a pennant, some of these little flags with happy on it. Isn't that just perfect? That would make me so happy to wake up in the morning and see that. I wonder if she can actually sit up here in her bed. Oh, she can. Oh, <laughs> that worked out really, really well. Oh, she looks so cute up there with Teddy. I just can't get over it now. Okay, we have to fit all these stuffies in. Where are you all? There were seven little stuffies. Well, seven quite big stuffies. Some of these stuffies are almost as big as little Stephanie. So we'll put... Uh, we need some sort of storage for them. So this cloud piece here is so cute for a shelf. So we can put her current favorite stuffies here, the ones that she's currently playing with. And we could then, I suppose, arrange the rest around the room. So these can go over here. That looks really nice, actually. And the rest of them can kind of hang out over here and up here on the bed and another one here and one down in the reading nook. But that looks really, really cluttered and I don't like it. So it's fun when she's playing with all of them. We're going to take them out. We're going to make a storage space just for them. So we're going to need to actually add on to this room. So I have a plan. Are you ready for my plan? First up, we need to take this wall out and we need to get a hinge because we are going to add. Uh, let me see which way this goes around. I can never figure this out. Okay. Yes. So it needs to go that way and we're going to add a storage shelf. Um, is that right? Have I got that wrong already? Let me put it over here and just put this one on underneath. Yep, 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 good. Okay, that's good now. <laughs> that's good, because if I got it wrong, it would look really terrible. It wouldn't open the right way. A storage shelf for all the stuffies. So let me see. And it's actually going to swing off the side of the wall. And it's just going to be a really nice way where she can tuck them away when she doesn't need them. And there's even some space for their tails at the back. We're going to have to be a bit creative about how we sort them out because their tails are all different sizes. So that's good for the bottom level. And we've still got three more to go. Actually, we've got two more to go. Two more to fit on over here. So we're going to need another layer for our shelving. Uh, we put the hinge up on here. Yep. And... Then we put some more of these little squares with the jumper studs on them, which means we can take them on easily. We can take them off easily and then we can put them away nice and tidily. So who's going up here? Let's see how many we can fit up there. Actually, we might rearrange them a little bit because I want to use this little bottom square here to build a box to put all their accessories in. And it's a little box that you can pop on and off so you can take it off when you want to play with it, but then you can tidy it away again when you're not playing. Love the fact that there's going to be a space for everything in this room. It's not just going to be cluttered with stuff everywhere. So bows and crowns and sunglasses. And we've got mm, so many colored bows. Let's put an orange one in. And we need this really cool little one. And another little flower that's quite overflowing now. Let's see if I can fit it 
on here. <laughs> oh, actually, no. A little gold crowny piece has fallen off the back. <laughs> that is really, really filled to the brim. Oh, this looks good. Okay. Let's attach this to the wall. So if it's going to go over here, I now need to fill up my wall and then we can see how it's all going to work. So lots and lots of white for our wall. Oh, that's looking good. Oh, actually, I have got the perfect poster for this wall. Check this out. Look, I believe I can fly. Just the perfect motto for Stephanie. Just the perfect colours for her as well. And it's just such a perfect style for a toddler's room. I'm so chuffed by that. It just works out so gorgeously. All right, our wall is almost to the top. We can put our other little hinge on. See how this is going to work. And it is going to work, which is very exciting. Oh, this is so good. She now has got a hinged storage shelf. She can pull it in when she wants to play and tuck it away when it all needs to be tidily put away. So let's put our other little bench over here with the current favorite stuffies. Oh, it's all worked out so well. It fits so nicely. But we've got a bit of space here, so we might put an accessory play area here. So you know what's going to happen here. We're going to need a brush for grooming the stuffies. Where's my brush? That even looks like one of the brushes that comes with toys that actually don't brush their hair at all. And a little accessory display area. We could put this bit that keeps falling out of the box out, the little gold crown, though it might not fit. It might actually get in the way of our hinged shelf. Uh, I'll just leave it there for now and we'll find out. Let's put it in. Maybe here? Maybe? Let me see. It does fit. It tucks just in under the tail there. But I'd like to put it on the edge because it's kind of just a bit far in there to be able to easily access the brush. Let's see if it still... No, it still doesn't fit. Uh, it does fit if we tuck it in. But let's just put a bow on. Let's put a blue bow on. Perfect for Stephanie's colours. And then we can put this other little gold crown back here in the box. I hope it doesn't fall out. Oh, that's looking so good. We might add a cushion here to the accessory corner so the little stuffies have got somewhere to sit while they're being groomed and decorated. So we've got our Disney Princess Palace Pets cushion to put down there. And then she can put her favourite down here. We've dropped oh, Teddy off. We've dropped everybody off. There we go. Everybody's better. Ah, but it's just perfect. It is a dedicated play area for Stephanie and her beloved stuffies. Oh, it's so cute. Now, I have another detail I need to show you. Over here in the other corner, the corner not dedicated to her beloved stuffies, is a little shelf. <laughs> and you want to see what's going on this shelf? Now, Stephanie got given this. No, not this. She got given this. A brand new Malibu Stacy doll from her doting aunt who doesn't know her very well because if she knew Stephanie very well she'd know that Stephanie hates dolls. So this doll has sat here still in its box unopened, dusty, unloved. Makes me quite sad to see it there in its corner. I think Stephanie should re-gift it to one of the other Lego Friends girls when they're toddlers. I wonder which one likes dolls. You'll have to tell me in the comments which one you think would love this doll. But there we go. Stephanie's room is completed. It's just perfect for a toddler Stephanie and the things that she currently loves. And of course her tastes are going to change. She's not going to want all these stuffies when she's a teenager. So we'll have to redecorate it again then. But let's take the toddler Stephanie room and put it back in the house and see how it all fits. So oh, it doesn't. Oh, I put the hinged side on the wrong side. I should have put it on the other side. Well, actually, it still works. Actually, that works quite well. I can actually fold it out. So when we fold it out, it gives the bathroom more privacy. Oh, look at that. It's one of those mistakes that actually work out quite well. I quite like that incorporated into the middle of the house. <laughs> that looks really good, actually. I'm quite pleased with that. I don't think I need to redesign it at all. So she has got her own little toddler room with all of her toys. She's got a reading nook and we're going to fix this book up. So it actually has got fairy tales in there because all kids should read fairy tales. Oh, I wonder which fairy tale she's reading right now. Oh, it was obviously a really good one because it sent her off to sleep in her new toddler bed with the safety railing and the little yellow nightlight. She looks so peaceful sleeping up there. Oh, night night toddler Stephanie. Now I'm going to whisper because Stephanie's asleep and you never ever wake up a sleeping child if you can help it because they get really really cranky. But I want you to tell me in the comments which little Lego friends needs their toddler bedroom 
build next. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you check out some of my other videos and some of my other custom builds. And I'm going to see you with a new video very, very soon. Now, shh.